Hi, I'm Greg DePaul. Uh, this is Screenwriting One, the online intensive winter course. And I want you to know right from the start, I'm no great filmmaker or videographer. So I have, uh, but I've tried to uh, write my notes and my little speech for this video on a screen that's right behind the camera. So that's my improvised teleprompter. So hopefully you'll bear with me. I don't, I, I can't aim, I can't make this super exciting. Uh, there's no dance routines, but I'm going to do my best uh, to be friendly uh, and uh, talk to you like you're sort of right in front of me in the classroom. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, the first thing, I've got a series of 10 short things to tell you that I want to make sure that I say. Uh, if you want to know more about me, by the way, you can Google me or you could go to gregdepaul.com. And you'll find, uh, you know, all the general information about my background in the film industry. Uh, I've worked successfully as a screenwriter, so I have, uh, you know, a place of knowledge. But I don't want to talk too much about my background. And in fact, we're going to get into your background uh, very soon in this course. Uh, so that's point number one. That was kind of painless. Point number two, this is an intensive version of Screenwriting One, which is taught by Dean Bell. Uh, it's designed to approach screenwriting gradually uh, by getting you to tell stories at first and then sort of uh, uh, ease you into screenwriting as, as your uh, uh, storytelling tool. Uh, and then so we, we talk about this course is broken into four chunks, as you'll see on Moodle. Uh, in the beginning, it's just about storytelling in general. Then we get into research of scripts. And screenplays, so you, you we'll be reading them, we'll be making notes on them, getting an idea how the how they move, how they work on the page. Okay, uh, then preparing you to write. All right, and then writing a short screenplay. Okay, and you'll see that on Moodle. Those are the four basic uh, quarters of the course spread out. I think it's less than one month, about twenty four days. <clears throat> uh, if you've never screen written. Uh, or if you want to take further classes, such as Screenwriting 2 uh, at SUNY, uh, I think this course is, either way, this course is ideal for you. I think you'll enjoy it and learn something. Uh, number three, the basic idea here is we learn to write dramatically for the screen. And I do mean dramatically. It's a very important thing to understand. That means this course is grounded in the fundamentals of dramatic writing. Uh, so most of what makes up good playwriting, which is sort of core dramatic writing, also makes up good screenwriting. Uh, the focus is on you, the writer, telling a story using a series of scenes, uh, uh, which involves drama showing dramatic events uh, and the idea that the character must meet conflict and that the conflict proves or shows the truth of the character, that very sort of core fundamental idea of dramatic writing that you see in great plays, you'll see in great screenplays. Uh, in fact, most of the core ideas that I'll teach and, and work with you on in screenwriting really have their source in playwriting. It's a different medium, but it's got a great deal in common when it comes to the, how the stories are structured. Uh, on Moodle, point number four, I've asked you to describe yourself. There's a little uh, discussion assignment there. Please go right to it uh, and see that. Uh, basically, I want everyone to tell me something about uh, what they've written, if it's anything. You, you don't have to have written anything. Uh, you don't have to have previous experience. i just like to know if you have any experience and what kind. I've had actors, journalists, uh, novelists with public, published novels, students who've never written before, who've done quite well in my course, um, bloggers, Poets, playwrights, songwriters, musicians, etc. And I'd just like to know where you're coming from, what you may have written if you've written an article for your school newspaper or for the New York Times, or you've written plays but never screenplays. Please go to that uh, discussion segment and just give me a basic idea of it and describe yourself. It could be four sentences, it could be ten sentences. You don't have to go on, but I want to get just a little bit of a flavor for who you are and your dramatic writing background. Uh, five, this is an intensive course. We're simulating a course that usually spans a whole semester and crunching it down. So you need to be doing something 
pretty much every day. You'll see that on the schedule, but I'm just reminding you of that now. It makes obvious sense because we're, we're doing a whole semester in less than a month. Uh, I will change number six. I will change the course from time to time, uh, not on a dime. I, I don't want to uh, make you struggle for no reason. Uh, but when I see some skill that needs emphasizing in the writing of the individual or the group, uh, I may change the assignments a little bit to 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 complement, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, and what I'm telling you about or what I may discuss in a video lecture or in some online chat. So please keep aware of that. Uh, seven, email me with any questions. I'm gregory.depaul at purchase.edu. Gregory.depaul is my handle at purchase.edu. You've got questions. I've hopefully got answers. I don't spend a lot of time on theory in this course. Thank God. Uh, I speak from a couple of areas. A, experience having written and sold screenplays that have been actually made. Uh, B, the knowledge that I've gained from working with many other successful screenwriters and filmmakers. I say that because I have created and run workshops for writers and directors for years. Uh, so I've seen writers start in one place and end up in another, and I've really tried to be very observant and take notes on what they needed to learn to go from A to M or Z or wherever they got to as a writer. I've seen people succeed in big ways and fail in big ways, and everything in between it's quite a spectrum so that's where i'm coming from not just my own experience as primarily a comedy writer but the many drama writer friends that i have and the uh and i'm you know, i run a writers group now in new york city and there's thriller writers there and filmmakers who make short films and who make webisodes and there's quite a spectrum of screenwriting that i get to deal with uh pretty frequently in my in terms of working with colleagues and collaborators. Also see, I'm coming from my own observations about this changing craft and its unique status in, in, in the entertainment world. I'm talking about screenwriting. As you probably noticed, the landscape of TV, film, online entertainment changes. Uh, I think it just changed again. Uh, and I keep up with all that. And I'll stay on top of it and I read the trades and I, I see what scripts are selling and what movies are getting made. and. I'm watching Netflix and I'm watching foreign shows as well as domestic and I'm really trying to get a, a good flavor and I'm going to film festivals from time to time. Sometimes I'm speaking on a panel, but I'm also there to learn and I try to bring that learning, that knowledge back to you. Okay, so that's about me. It's just my way of saying I try to keep up to date on the industry, both the Hollywood end of it and the independent end of it, the people making movies for, you know, literally, you know, 500 bucks and putting them on YouTube and trying to get a, a following and the people who are, you know, working at the highest level of highest pay grade, right? Which may or may not mean they're the best writer in the world. Um, I will say this as we get into, as I'm sure you'll go on Moodle, in terms of your work, please write professionally at all times. And for me, that means everything from spelling to grammar to making sure that your name is on the paper the document that you send, um, you're going to send everything back and forth through Moodle. Um, good writing is good thinking. I, be I believe in that. Uh, I will mark folks down for sloppy writing and, you know, frequent misspellings because, let's face it, that's really easy to fix. There is spell check. But more importantly, the idea that you as a writer understand that writing is rewriting which is the hugest, the biggest idea that I can express to you really in this course is that writing is rewriting. Nobody succeeds without rewriting. No writer succeeds without rewriting. I said it twice because I really believe in it. Um, and I can tell you from personal experience that I've never sold or made or, or, or shown professionally any work, whether it's prose, Fiction, nonfiction, I have a nonfiction book out uh, that you could buy if you like. But nothing that I've put out there, do I, in no case have I ever given anyone anything less or anything previous to a 20th or 30th draft. Uh, I'm an obsessive rewriter, and to whatever degree I've been successful, it's only because of the rewriting. I'm not especially inspired, so you don't have to be. But nobody's first draft is ever any good. And that's just the truth. And if you understand that, um, it'll make it a little easier for you to put something on the page as we get deeper into this course, because you don't need to look at it and say, gosh, it's got to be perfect. 
No, it really does not need to be perfect. It won't be uh, because you'll rewrite it. That's kind of the point. And I'll help you with that. And we'll talk more about that. And we'll do some of that. Um, so always check your work before handing it in. Always reread it before handing it in. I'm going to end this video because we passed the 10 minute mark. Uh, and I want to get back to what's more important than me, which is you and your background. So please go right after this video. Don't wait. Do it today. Go to that spot on Moodle. If you look at the schedule, it's the first, I think it's the first assignment where you're going to just to basically talk about yourself. That's all you have to do. And also, uh, I'll share that with other people in the class. So we have some idea who we all are. Okay. Okay. So not a great videographer. Greg, probably some talented filmmakers watching this going, he's a terrible videographer, terrible filmmaker. But thank you. Thank you for taking this class. I hope that I can bring something to you and you can pick up some great skills that will help you and you'll want to keep screenwriting. That would make me very happy. Okay, talk to you soon. Gregory.DePaul at purchase.edu. Thank you.